What is going on everyone? I'm Ethan, also known as Ragnarok, and welcome back to Bloodborne. In the last episode, we made our way around most of Yharnam and then took down the first boss, the Cleric Beast. Now we're going to continue to the lower parts that we kind of delved into, but we're going to explore down there properly and then just carry on, really. It's been a little while because I'm recording things differently with these new series. Assassin's Creed is the main focus at the moment, but... I'm alternating Second Son and Bloodborne each week, so one week it's Second Son, one week it's Bloodborne. It's just kind of a nice balance while I work on getting Assassin's Creed all finished. We gotta go through here again. I see you there, sir. Shoot me. Don't hit me. So it was back this way where all the dogs were. So forgive me if there's a little bit of rust. I do generally take like two weeks in between <laughs> each one now, but that will change up eventually, I'm sure. Hello, Pooch. You already broken out your cage. Actually, no, he hasn't. Both of you are at the same time. Boy! Master Dog Hunter. Okay, that was rude. No! Come here, Pooch. Yeah. That is super loud in my headset. Let me turn that down. I realized in the last episode I sounded kind of low. And that's only because my uh, headset was really low, too. So I'm kind of like trying to match the voice or the sound in my headset, does that make any sense? People do that, right? It's not just me. <laughs> like when you've got really loud noise going on in your ears, you do start like shouting louder or speaking louder. So I was just trying to kind of match that, which explains why. So I apologize if I sound kind of down. I was honestly fine. And I also apologize for this recording session if I sound kind of nasally and gross. Because this is just one of those days where hay fever is having its way with me. So I'm constantly sneezing and sniffling and it's just a great time, really, isn't it? Everyone loves having hay fever. You're a hunter, aren't you? I am. Well, do you know of any safe place to hide in Yarnum? Not just yet. I might be able to get back to you on that, though. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, I have been telling you what I've found out. Well, if you once has got off your arse, it wouldn't be in this mess. Okay. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what will it be? Are you going to tell me you're not? I mean, I'd tell you if I knew anywhere. You're good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That lot of good you outsiders do. Go on. Admit it. You think we're all mad, don't you? Well, go and stop it! I know all your tricks. That's just a bit rude. <laughs> like, when you don't get your way, does that is that how you always react to people? Like, well, you didn't get me what I wanted, so literally fuck you, basically. That's gonna make them want to help me so much more. Okay, well... Oh, for sure there's like a little path where you can take out here. Coming up to an NPC, and honestly, I've never actually known what to do with her. <laughs> like, you have a conversation with her, and I know you can get weapons from her, but I just, I really don't know how to go about it. Oh, a hunter, are you? A hunter. And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Old Hunter's Mark, thank you very much. I can't remember what those are. I don't are those the things that like homeward bones or am I going crazy? Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now. Yes, ma'am. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're a little different from the beasts themselves. Shake off cape, thank you very much. Anything else? What are you still doing? Enough, okay. a hunter must hunt. <laughs> a hunter must hunt. Literally every Bloodborne meme probably revolves around her. Just the way she says hunter. <laughs> a hunter must hunt. See it all over Twitter and stuff. Okay, if I remember right, there's some items we could drop down here. 
Like that one. We got some over here. Gotta do some drop downs to get to these though. This one too. Can I reach it? Oh my god, please don't fall off with it. Jesus Christ, the way I just went forward. Scared me a wee bit, a little bit spooked, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really did not want to fall all the way down because I don't think I can survive that. Alright, how am I getting down from here? I guess I'll just go back around. Is that it? No, I can't. Alright, well. It's gonna suck. Okay, that didn't. That was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. I knew there's a guy back here. There he is. Hey, friend. Ow, okay. Rude. I thought you were going to swing with your other weapon. Piece of shit. Is he done? Okay, he's done. Alright, give me that. Bloodstone shard. These weapons ain't going to upgrade themselves. Not without any kind of material, mind you. Back to our regularly scheduled programming of stabbing this guy in the back. Love phone calls while I'm recording, that's so fun. Please don't turn around. There we go. Nice and easy. Fist up your ass and you're dead. So it doesn't even- Hello? Are you really shooting at me right now? Matters, my friend. Oh crap, okay, I didn't think you could see me from there. Where else are people seeing me from? Too bad for you, you gotta take 10 years to reload your next shot. That's your problem, not mine. I know I have to drop down there eventually. Who has to see me? I'm hearing the rats. Down below. Can I sneak up behind this man? Is he gonna see me? Oh my god, he's definitely gonna see me! Okay. Hey! Don't be rude. That's what you get. Get off of me! Alright. I guess we better just go down and get our stuff we knocked down then, right? I can't even remember what it is you drop. <laughs> We're about to find out though. Man, rats. Rats and dogs, like I say, they always... Did I... Oh, I really thought I just fell all the way down. Please don't touch me. You vermin! Disgusting. Throwing knives? Ooh. That's not bad. I'd love to get some more Molotovs though, if I'm being completely honest. If I'm being completely honest. Alright, what was this? A sauce beer? Is that better than this? Like, I always wondered this. Because it's like, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> it kind of is the same thing. I guess it's better in like a deck scaling. But I was just doing a little bit more damage for right now. So until we go back and upgrade that, then carry on with the good old sword cleaver for now. I should have dropped over there. God damn it. Bloodstone shard. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not even mad about it. I'm really not. Now we can actually carry on properly. Hello? Do you mind? You better not shoot me off this ladder, I swear to god. Oh my god, he's coming! Stop! That boy was ready! Do you mind? Do it. Oh, of course I couldn't finish you up into what- Damn off this. Screw you. Why did he even- <laughs> Why did he not just straight kill him instead of doing that? Alright, where are they going? Oh no. Let me just do this before. Let's go! Oh wait, take cover, take cover. Idiots! What? You should have fought that one through. Get some quicker guns. Cause they ain't cutting it, chief. Cold blood ju- alright. We're just basically mopping up everything that we missed. And then we can carry on, because our next boss is not that far. It really isn't. Hello, birdies. Stay on the ground. No one needs you to jump up. Really? You're still alive? What a joke. What is this item right here? I can drop down, because I need to go down there anyway. There we go. Easy. Make sure you're definitely dead. And this was where we dropped down from up there, where I got this outfit. So instead of going up, we're going back down again, and this way. Hello, crows. How's it going? Ah, I see you over here. Pretty slick. 
disgusting. Did they both die? I don't think I killed them. Excuse you! Less of that in my ears corner, thank you very much. What crows sound like that? Literally what crows? Bring your ass down here. I just want to know what happened to the crow for it to sound like that. Because there's just no reason for it. Oh. Well, I didn't want to take the stairs anyway. They're all crawling to me. Just make it easier for me, by all means. Ow! Ow! Excuse you! Get my damn health back. Get that cheap hit. Oh my god. Seriously, though. Even with this long reach, I'm still not reaching. Less of it! Alright. What you got over here, friends? I know you ain't dead. What are you trying to fool? This man was really thinking he was gonna get away with it. Come on now. Come on now. Alright, so there's a giant ass pig in that tunnel there <laughs> that you do not want to be messing with right now. At least not from this angle, and the crow's up there, you can kiss my ass. You just don't want to go down there. I learned that the hard way when I first played. That was an experience. It says, mind of my own business, over this giant ass pig comes and charges at me. No thanks. Gonna pass. But, nice shortcut here. Like, really, I only remember this first area so well, just because it is so well designed. Like, so many shortcuts. Back to the first lamp. It's just amazing. So this literally walk up there and it'll lead you back to the lamp we started at. But we don't really need to go back there for now. Unless maybe I wanted to go upgrade my source spear, if that's what it's called. I can't really remember, then we'll go back there later. But that's where we fought the cleric beast, I'm pretty sure. Up on that bridge. Now we're crossing another one. There's a whole mob of guys here. Hello. Uh, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we just shouldn't do that. Ow. Oh, I see something in the background. Move out of the damn way. Oh, no. Uh. That was a giant ass flame and fireball thing. I don't know why that didn't trigger sooner. The whole idea was that I was meant to kill- oh, Molotov, yes, please, thank you. The whole idea of it was that I was meant to kill them all while they ran towards me, so I'm not sure why that took so long. I'm gonna have to have a word with my friend up here. Sir, did I not run up the bridge far enough that you just set that off sooner? Is that what it was? You're really gonna be that petty about it? Alright then, alright then. Which one are you coming for me first? That guy with a torch does not care. He really just doesn't. Hey friend. Wanna tell me why you didn't do the thing sooner? Oh my god, relax. That's what you get. Next time, if I die to the boss, you better throw that thing swiftly, alright? I want that thing to take them all out and not me nearly dying for something that you should have done. Do as you a program, Chief. I don't care. A hyper armor. <laughs> Alright, so down here leads to that pig. And I'm not entirely sure how well this is gonna go. Because I don't I think I've only ever done this once. But uh Yeah, there he is. That's just death down there. I'm pretty sure he's got some good stuff behind him, so, but if he turns around right now, this might not be good. <laughs> oh, please, for the love of God. I'm literally about to fist the pig! Why is this a thing? <laughs> literally, why is it a thing? Blood vials, thank you very much. Cold blood Jew. And Saw Hunter badge. I still don't remember what the badges do exactly. I'm not sure if it just lets you upgrade to a higher tier. I might be wrong. I've honestly completely forgot a lot of the little mechanics in Blood 1. 
games. As I say, I only played it the one time, and that was a couple years ago, really, that I did a full playthrough. So, I know there's a lot of bosses in this game that I had trouble with, so it's going to be a lot of fun when I get to them. There's going to be a lot of rage, I would imagine, unless I've somehow got better by not playing over the years. That'll be something. Hey there, friends. What are you guarding? Is he going to see me? I frames! Yes! You're mad about it. Admit Ow! Okay, I just come out of my thing. Let's not do that again. Alright. Give me all your stuff. Oh, you're all dropping stuff for me. I'll take all the blood vials. I really will. Alright, and here we go. This boss... <laughs> It gave me so much trouble the first time I played, and I, it's highly likely he's going to do it again. Because this boss, I feel like, was the one that really teaches you how to play Bloodborne. It's like, this is how you need to play if you want to win this game, so... I still love it, though. I still love it. But here we go. My boy's got some good canines, I must say. Father Guess Coin. Literally everyone's little stop gap is like, wait, you thought you were enjoying the game? Well, here he is. Oh, wait, I get it. I actually got that and I missed it. I'm upset. I really am. Let me just see how that happens. Because this boy can do some insane damage. <laughs> he really can. Yeah, let's it. I don't know if you can even hit me through. What is this cheese? What is this? Is this really what we're about to do right now? Oh, he's figuring it out. He's figuring it out. Hold on. Or oh, not. Nah. I mean... <laughs> what? Gas coin, I was hyping you up. You cannot, like, fail me like this. Don't let me beat you like this. Just please don't. You're better than this, gas coin. I know you are. Alright. Alright, now he's figuring it out. He's getting it. Ow. Alright. Nice and easy. You do need to parry him is the easiest way to get through it from what I can remember. If you can time it right, then... Not like that, obviously. My turn for hits. Oh, he extended his weapon. Honestly, hunter fights or humanoid fights are like the best parts of Bloodborne, honestly. The soundtrack, everything. He's just so cool. I love it. <laughs> I really fucking do. Ow, what? You weren't stun locked in that combo? Are you sitting there? Yes! You shoot me over the graves. Stop it. My turn. How's that feel, huh? Not today. Ow! Oh my goodness. You're hurting a little bit. Hurting just a little. I got range too, okay? Oh, here it goes. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This is the part where everyone's like, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it still hit me! Alright. Oh my god, no, not like this. Uh oh. Have this. Oh my god, that's going stop! I'm stuck on a thing! I'm stuck! Alright, stop panicking, stop panicking, we're all good. 
No, we're not. Oh my god. See, I get it, but he knocked me back. Oh! Ow! That's brain stop. Oh my god, it's not gonna be a second to breathe! You're not letting me breathe! I'm stuck in the corner. Give me this one, please. Oh no. Ow! Oh my god, he's gonna kill me! He's actually gonna kill me! We've come too far for this! I seriously cannot see. Gascoigne, please. The environment screwed me more than him right now. That was not mine, well. I'm just gonna run back here because he is absolutely ruining me. Give me a second. Alright. Nope, alright. Alright, you're nearly done. Get out of here. That's enough for you. Oh, that got a bit hairy. That really got a bit hairy. Alright. <laughs> for a little bit of backstory or lore on that, remember we spoke to the girl in the last episode and she was like, can you find my father? That was him. He has gone crazy from all of this stuff. All this hunting and whatever. He's obviously gone mad. And she was asking, can you find my mother too? She wears a red jeweled brooch and... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Gascoigne killed his own wife. It's... It's kind of fucked. <laughs> it really is. And she gave us this uh, tiny music box. She said it, you know, it helps him remember us. And stuff like that. If you play that during the fight, I think when he turns into a beast, that beast form, if you play that, it stuns him for a small duration so you can get damage in. I completely forgot until just now. But nonetheless, it's still a really cool detail and the lore is really cool. It's just, it's just cool, alright? Now let's go back to the Hunter's Dream, level up and start upgrading our new source spear because I'm kind of curious to start using it. 